Hello and welcome. Before jumping into the automation demo, let us quickly understand what OData is and how it is different from REST and SOAP. SOAP defines a standard communication protocol specification for XML-based message exchange between two applications or electronic devices over the web. SOAP uses different transport protocols such as HTTP and SMTP. SOAP and REST cannot be compared directly since the first is a protocol and the second is an architectural style. A RESTful API is a resource-based unlike SOAP which is an action-based. In SOAP, you will have a request to get material data whereas in REST, material will be identified as a resource using URI, Uniform Resource Identifier, and then use HTTP verbs like get, post, put, delete to determine which operation shall be performed on the resource. For example, if an employee is modeled as a resource and there is a REST service to get contact information of that person, then the representation that you will get of that person would be name, address, and phone details in JSON or XML format. OData stands for Open Data Access Protocol and is a means to create RESTful APIs. OData is considered to be one of the best ways to achieve RESTful APIs. It was initially introduced by Microsoft in 2007. Now it is being widely used for web and mobile applications across the industry. SAP uses it widely for communication between its ecosystem of applications. SAP S4 HANA uses SAP Gateway and OData services to connect devices and bring business data into SAP Fury and its SaaS-based applications. Now, let's quickly get into the demo part. Workshop Certify enables users to test APIs and leverage virtual services via an out-of-the-box and bi-directional integration with SOAP UI. I have got uh, an OData example here for our success factors um, service layer. When this particular request is executed for a specific employee, it is going to return all of the employee attributes like first name, last name, address, designation, salary, and his stock option details, along with many others, as you can see in the response. And I've got a SOAP UI project designed here with um, employee name being passed as a project variable that is going to come from Certify when you execute this test from Certify and uh, different uh, information like employee ID and his designation and the department that he belongs to is going to be validated using property transfer uh, actions in SOAP UI that I have designed here. And these um, uh, steps are going to be used to extract the right uh, nodes from the entire XML envelope so that Certify could uh, validate uh, the response whether it contains the right details for an employee. Let me quickly close this and let me step into our certified process editor where I've got a process designed for our success factors employee entity service where we're going to be uh, passing employee name as an input parameter to execute the uh, OData request and uh, from the response, we're going to be validating these uh, four details um, by using a property transfer action to bring it back into Certify and validate against these values from the record set. Let me quickly show you the steps that we have used to create this uh, OData test automation uh, process in Certify. The first step, as you can see, we're going to be uh, mentioning the SOAP UI project file name along with the complete folder path and its uh, test suite and test case uh, details. And then in this step, we are passing the employee name as an input parameter for the project variable in SOAP UI for employee name. And then run the project. And then we use property transfer to bring the uh, properties like employee ID back into certify so that in the next step we can validate it. Similarly, we're going to be doing the same for job title, stock budget segment, and the division of an employee. Okay. 
Let us execute this process and see. As you may know already, since it is an API test, we will not be able to see the execution happening at the UI layer level. Okay, execution is complete and the status is successful as you can see the green check marks. Let us scroll down and validate the uh, employee code data from the parameters. See, employee uh, code is 2023 from uh, the service and the value that we are validating against is same, so it is successful. Similarly, we use uh, we have used for job title and stock budget and employee division as well. Thank you for watching this video and happy learning.